Hi, my name is Ted with Legacy Brand Leather. Today I'm crafting a leather pass-through style watch strap. A viewer out in New Zealand saw my Cliff Booth style watch strap video and wanted a watch strap for his Citizen Bullhead watch. And along with that one, he wants another pass-through style watch strap for another watch that he wears. Crazy. This stuff blows my mind. Thank you all so much for watching. No matter where you are in the world, I'm just excited to be able to share my journey through this craft with you. So, let's get to it. Today we're using some olive green harness leather by Wicket and Craig. This is approximately two to three ounces thick. And here I'm just cutting off a piece of it that's longer than the overall dimension of the watch strap. I'm cutting one edge so that it's nice and even. Here I'm using a caliper to get a little bit undersize of a dimension here on my caliper for an oversized cut that I'm gonna be making. When I cut this, I'm going to be shooting for an oversize of plus or minus 0.10 millimeters. The leather is going to flex a little bit as you're putting it into the, the lugs of the watch. So then I'm beveling both the top and the bottom layer of the watch strap that I'm going to then burnish. Here I'm applying some Tokenol clear edge finish I'm going to be burnishing with a Coca Bola wood burnisher on a rotary Dremel, then applying some more Tokenol and burnishing with a piece of canvas. Then I'm going to be stamping out a hole with an oblong hole punch for the buckle to fit through. This is a Zulu style buckle. After that, I'm going to be punching some holes in it, then I'm going to be stitching with the diamond pricking iron. And stitching here with some Venomo number no. 5 MBT white thread. After that, I just burn off the ends and tuck it in so it's nice and flush and fit on the other piece of hardware for a watch strap loop to hold the watch strap in place once it's secured. And again, hammering in some diamond pricking iron holes and stitching together. that's all secured. I'm just going to be cutting the end flush so that it looks nice and clean. Right here I'm marking the main hole that the customer sent me for their most used hole in their current watch strap. So I'm going to be flanking the holes with a couple extra holes just for adjustment in case the uh, watch strap wants to flex or doesn't quite fit the exact hole initially. Uh, there's a couple extra holes just in case for some uh, variation there. And then I'm marking the end of the strap about two inches down from the last hole there. Then I'm going to then burnish the same way with a wood burnisher and then with a piece of canvas. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it insightful. If you're interested in any of the tools that I've been using here today, check the description and I'm going to try to link to as many of them as possible. Also, please like this video and please consider subscribing 
that shows me that you're interested in watching more content. Other than that, I have an Instagram, at Legacy Brand Leather, where I do some product photos, process photos, and do some giveaways. Go ahead and give us a follow. Anyways, I'll see you next week with a new video.